Hey everyone, it is Crystal with Pineapple Papers and it is time for day six and day seven in my December daily. <clears throat> and I am going to do an out of the pocket uh, interactive kind of layout. So I got a advent calendar from my friend Amber and it was um, Brianna on YouTube. She put it together. So we opened it um, not too long ago and um, this plaid bag was one of the one of the days. So I'm going to use that bag as um, basically my background. So day six's story is kind of funny. <clears throat> I don't know if funny is the right word, but um, so I actually had been sick starting, starting the first, that was Thursday, right? Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Monday. Yeah. <clears throat> So I had been sick since the first, but um, we had other people out sick, so I really couldn't be sick. <clears throat> and uh, so I did pretty good. Um, you can still hear it in my voice that it just, it doesn't really want to give, give up here. Um, and so I had to go in Monday for some sort of competency stuff. And the girls at work were like, we don't really have very many patients tomorrow. Um, why don't you take the day off? So we're calling it my sick day, but I really wasn't feeling sick. But I was definitely going to enjoy the day off. And so this is how I spent my morning um, with my tea and my blanket in front of the Christmas tree. Um, so I just snapped a picture, picture of my quote unquote, sick day. And since I had uh, my my tea mug, I decided to stick three coffee mugs or cocoa mugs or whatever they are down there in the bottom. And then I love these little, I want to call them baubles now because I've been watching so many people that call them baubles, um, these ornaments. And I thought that's okay for those to kind of like go over the tree a little bit. And then I decide to make another little cluster up there to the left. I add a tag. That's where my journaling is going to go. And then I add a floral and a sticker that says goodness and light. Um, cause my goodness was my cup of tea and it was light outside. That's where I was going with that. So I'm going to glue everything down and I, started with um, that paper that is going all throughout the album and I just made a little tab with it so that'll be something to hold on to when uh, you flip this particular page over and then I decided that because it's kind of a small bag I really was going to end up poking holes in like my ephemera and my title and that type of thing. Um, so I'm going to fix that here in a minute. I did go off screen, uh, put my title down as sick day and my number six on top of the mugs. So I'm going to take <clears throat> that paper and I'm going to cut it mm, probably about an inch and a half. And I did two strips. I'm going to adhere them together. So you have that same color on each side. And then I am going to take one of my empty page protectors and I am going to line it up and basically punch the holes so that, um, so that they, there'll be the same size and they can fit in the, in the binder or album. And then I am going to take it and I am going to stick it into the fold of the, the bag. So you know how when it folds up, um, it creates like that little, little bit. 
Now, I can't get it all the way down to the bottom because of where it stops for the actual bottom of the bag. So <clears throat> I just trim a little bit off to where it is going to work. And then I am going to trim some off of the top so that it's, since it can't go all the way to the bottom, I don't want it to go all the way to the top. And then I am just going to glue it right in to that, <clears throat> that gap, I guess you could say. So, and that is the same gap that the uh, tab was put in on the other side. So same idea. You can see how that bag opens. I'm going to slip that in and uh, trim that off so it's even on the top and bottom. And that is going to do it for day six. Love, love, love how this one turned out. Super fun. <clears throat> now, day seven is going to be on the back. And I have a ton of photos. So my daughter is the head cheerleader at her school. And this was the last basketball game. And so I took lots and lots of pictures. And... I decided, you know what, I'm going to try and use the majority of these pictures. So I am going to make a flip on the front. So where that um, bottom piece is, it already kind of does a flip. So I go ahead and attach the front photo. Then I'm going to flip it down and attach a photo to the back of it. You can see that there. So you can see how that flips. And then on the very back, I am going to add another photo. So I go ahead and line it up with uh, the flip so that it's exactly behind. And oh, so fun. I, I just, I am in love with this whole page, both sides of it. Like I just, I love how it turned out. So now I'm going to do a little bit of embellishing on the front here. So I grab a die cut that says the merriest, a little circle die cut. Um, and it's actually pink, but it's not, it's not screaming pink there. A fake brad that says, hello, December. And... Then I am looking through my chipboard pieces. I find this like book label and it says holiday stuff. <laughs> Even though basketball isn't necessarily holiday stuff, it was black, it goes with her uniform. I really liked how that looks. <clears throat> so now I'm going to work on embellishing the inside. Now the problem with embellishing <clears throat> the inside is you need to make sure that um, whatever you put on isn't sticking out funny. So I'm looking at going directly on the photos. Um, I was thinking that that circle piece, but I wasn't sure that I liked how that looked. So I had to go and just kind of go through all of the ephemera and take a little bit and see what I'll, all I had because I do have a lot and it's pretty much all on my desk. So it's it's kind of a mess, but that's okay. Um, so I found another circle. This one is wrapped in uh, red. So that's going to mimic the other side. So that's going to keep that. And now I'm looking for something to put on that white labely area. And in the sticker book, I find a couple of branches. <clears throat> one is black and white and one is green and red. And then, um, what else do I find? Oh, yeah. So <laughs> I found this banner. It says, oh, what fun. And I was like, this is so cute. Like, she's sticking her tongue out at me. I'm like, this has to go above this photo. And when I flip it up, like, it, you can see that it says, oh, what? And so I thought, well, that's kind of fun. When you flip it down, it'll say fun. So it says, oh, what fun? And then I found this holly piece, and I decided that needed to go on the front. So I'm going to put that on the front. 
uh, a banner piece of ephemera is gonna gonna go in that kind of white space to the left of the photo I had this good times I don't even know where that's from it was um it was like a cut apart sheet it might be like a pretty little studio I think so I go ahead and put that on and then I'm going to add my number which is number seven and I'm going to put it on that card and of course I use some Nouveau Deluxe adhesive because let's be honest the adhesive on thickers doesn't thick and this thicker set is kind of old so I was kind of glad to get it used up so day six and day seven end up with the same number I don't really have anything um, with numbers like I'm using all of this or using all that I'm not doing any of that so <clears throat> I'm just picking numbers I also added a little journaling spot and I'm just going to write you know last basketball game of the year and then I made little tags out of the rest of the photos and stuck those inside so there you go. I hope you enjoyed these days. I am super excited. So remember to wear your crown and I'll have some more days tomorrow. Bye.